So one of the celebrities I ran out ran into out here in Malibu was uh, Anthony Kiedis. Yeah, that was pretty cool for me because actually I was really into the Chili Peppers in a period of my life. Um, and uh, if you haven't listened to my videos, I've told a couple stories about celebrity sightings. Uh, prior to me moving out to California, I barely ever met a celebrity in my, entire, in my entire life out here. and Particularly in Malibu, you run into them a lot. Um, so I posted a couple stories about them. I got a really good Tom Hanks story that I'll post one of these days. And a couple good, you know, I ran into a couple of the big names, a lot of the big name celebrities, actually, when I was working at the local Malibu radio shop. But, so I ran into Anthony Kiedis. And it was a little different than the other celebrity run-ins because I was actually really, really into the, the Red Hot Chili Peppers back in the 90s. I saw them a long time ago in a small club in Auburn. Not a club necessarily, but a small 700, 700 seat place. And it was out of control. It was great. It was long before they, uh, it was right after Mother's Milk and it was before Under the Bridge. They might have just released Under the Bridge, so they weren't a big touring stadium act at that point. They were still like, they were still kind of, not a cult act, but they were like, if you were, if you were cool, you were into them, but a, a lot of people had never heard of them. And I saw them play at this place in Albany. It was fantastic. It was one of the, it was probably the second best concert I've ever seen in my life. In terms of pure adrenaline, pure energy, it was out of control. They were bouncing off the walls. They were totally, it was so frantic and chaotic and aggressive. It was fantastic. The only downside was the crowd. Uh, again, this was long, this was before they were popular. So all of the people in the crowd were like these hardcore dickhead types. And they were like, you know, there was a mosh pit and everyone was really aggressive, like swinging fists and trying to, you know, everyone was trying to be tough and cool. It was like, it was irritating. I was just there to have a good time. And yeah, I moshed, but, you know, there were, there, there were people there looking to, you know, push you enough to start a fight. You know the type of person, who, especially back then. You know, that they, they had a punk edge to them prior to becoming a mainstream act. They had a very definite punk, thrash, hardcore kid following. You know, kids with buzz cuts who were looking, looking to get into, get into something. And it wasn't all that pleasant, the crowd itself. So I run into Anthony Kiedis. First time I run into him is here in PC Greens. It's a local, uh, it's a local organic food place. It was actually one of the first ones around. Now they're everywhere. Now they were going to build a Whole Foods here in Malibu. got voted down. There's organic foods in the local supermarkets. There's Whole Foods all over the place. There's like four or five within 20 minutes of us. But back then, it was the only one in town. The time we ran into them, it was right before the Giants played the New England Patriots. 2008, I believe it was. And my wife started chatting with them. She kind of knew them a little. Um, she used to work at a local real estate place, and one of the people she worked for had sold Flea's house or something like that. So he, she, they chatted a little, and I just felt too... It was a weird experience for me, because normally I don't really get tri tripped out by celebrities at all. Like I said, I've run into at least 100 here in Malibu. When I worked at the Malibu Radio Shack, I'd run into a, a very, very, very famous person on average once a day. And really famous, Tom Hanks, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Leonardo DiCaprio, like as famous as, you know, the absolute, anybody who you could think of in the movie industry eventually walked into the Malibu Radio Shack. Why they went shopping at Radio Shack, I don't know, <laughs> but they were there. Um, but Kiedis was different, again, because I, I felt a kind of a kinship to him. Um, and I wanted to actually talk to him about music because I'd read a little bit of his autobiography and I know he used to go to the LA punk scene. He used to go down to uh, Orange County and see some bands like the Germs and X and Black Flag. So I was really kind of like, I was too, too much of a like, didn't want to be that guy, you know, hey man. And, but I really kind of wanted to talk to him about music because actually they influenced me a lot. Um, one of the only reasons I got into the band X was because it was sampled on a Chili Peppers album. And I was like, what is that sample? There was, they sampled the song White Girl. I don't know if you know the band X at all. 
But the, in, on Mother's Milk, I believe it was, there's a, she's a, she's a white girl. And for a long time, me and my friend were like, what song is that? What's that from? And I wanted to tell that to Anthony Kiedis in person when he's standing right in front of me. My wife and him are shooting the breeze about, I don't even know, the person who answers the phones, where she worked. And I'm not even sure what they were talking about. But I felt too stupid. You know, it's one of those things. It's really one of those things. Like most of the celebrities, I had nothing to say to. And Anthony Kiedis, I really felt like I had a lot to share. <laughs> I felt like we had a lot to talk about. And he would have gotten a kick out of hearing, at the very least, that I saw them long before they were a big name act. You know, it's got to count for something. If you're a, if you're a successful musician, they they were. They were relatively unknown or relatively had just a cult following. The first time I, we, people were talking about them was when I was in high school. And uh, Freaky Styly was the album. There was the, the famous one where they were all pictured. I think it was Abbey Road where they're all walking around naked except for the socks on their dicks. Um, we were, my friends and I were, were checking that out in, you know, 11th grade, 12th grade. Um, three years later is when I saw them, but they still hadn't achieved... Main, anything close to mainstream stardom at that point. They were still, they were still not necessarily, they were on their way for sure, but they weren't what they became in later years. They weren't the same, it wasn't the same Anthony Kiedis that I saw in the, walking around in Malibu. Second time I saw him, I didn't even talk to him because my wife wasn't there. There was no starter. There was no reason for me to be like, hi, how are you? You know, I kind of nodded at him. He nodded back and he, he, the reason why I didn't even start trying is because he had that look in his eyes like, oh, he recognizes me. Oh, here we go. <laughs> someone's going to like, hey, can I get your autograph? You know, someone's going to, he was there, it was Christmas shopping. Another local store in Malibu was, uh, I was, uh, I was actually Christmas shopping too. That's usually, that's why I was there. Nor, you know, the only, the only times I walked around in like the local retail stores in Malibu was Christmas and my wife's birthday. Other than that, I almost never, never went near him. So that's why I was there and that's why he was there. And he kind of looked at me like, eh, why are you going to ask me about, you know, what are you going to ask me about? So I didn't even bother. But it's too bad, you know, it's too bad. The, uh, most of the celebrities just not really that interested in wouldn't have that much to say to but I kind of thought I hold in the back of my mind that he would have gotten a kick out of our conversation at least talking about the bands that he grew up watching because there's a whole big section of his book um, and it's a whole if you ever heard him in interviews he talks about this a lot they, they him and him and Flea grew up together in high school and they'd go see they go see all the L.A. punk bands, the, the famous L.A. punk bands like the Germs, Black Flag, X. Um, those are the main ones that I remember them mentioning. So I would have loved to have talked to him about it, but, you know, just didn't, just didn't muster up the, just couldn't muster up the courage to start the subject. So there you go. That's my Anthony Kiedis story. That's all. Amen.